progress not only tonight but just this season as a whole? Uh, this season was a you know a real learning experience for me. Um, coming in as a redshirt freshman, not having any experience, and then coming now and playing our last home game versus Florida, I feel like I've grown tremendously. Realistically, I mean, what were your expectations? Not necessarily numbers wise, but just in terms of how you perform, limiting mistakes, how you react in certain situations. Just to become a better player each week, um, just to grow on, off the field and on the field. Um, basically, to get my teammates to trust me, um, become a better leader, and just fight for my team. What's your thoughts on the O-line tonight? No sacks, no penalties. It seemed like it was kind of their best performance of the night. O-line, the they, they've grown tremendously. They've grown up tremendously. Um, we have, we as an offense have grown up tremendously. We, we as a team has grown up tremendously, and I feel like right now we're a great football team. We still have a lot of improvement to go, but I'm happy with where we are from where we started. Can you take us through that touchdown pass that you had to reel off, and basically how much of a spark do you think I provided you guys? Oh, that was a very critical moment in the game. Uh, we were moving the ball fairly well, but you know, give credit to Florida's defense. Uh, those guys are tough. Yeah. Um, great, co they, their their coach really great. So they had a lot of athletes, but Rudolph ran a great route. We had a double post combination, and I held it as long as I could, and, uh, and I hit him in stride, and he made a great run after the catch. That last, that last touchdown run that you had, just so much emotion um, when you crossed the goal line. Just what were you thinking? And what was going through your mind? There was a lot of stuff going on. I was just so heated. Um, I was, it was bittersweet. I was so excited um, just to do it for the seniors. You know, this guy has been here for four years who's, you know, never had any attention, never had any cameras on him. But I feel like that touchdown really sealed the deal. And fumble before, I feel like uh, either way we should have got that ball back, even if I was down or fumble or targeting. I feel like that ball should have been in our hands. So when the defense came up with a huge stop, coach called to play again, and that showed me that he really trusted me, and I got the ball in the end zone. Jimbo spoke highly of your ability to, to bounce back from making a mistake. After the interception, kind of what was your mindset and how did you how did you move past that so successfully? I'm um, just focusing on the next play. Uh, you know, I was real upset with myself after that interception and that's just any quarterback, but that's the part of the game. You know, the best quarterback throw, throws interceptions. Tom Brady's of the world, it's Peyton Manny's, the Aaron Rodgers. All quarterbacks are gonna throw interception, that's part of the game, but I feel like it's what you do after the interception. How do you bounce back? Because mistakes are gonna happen. Deontay, that emotion uh, that you had crossing the end zone, what was going through your head when you scored that touchdown? Um, just a lot. Um, just, it was just bittersweet. Um, I'm not really a celebration type guy, but just all my emotions, happy, sad, mad, all of them came out because I felt like that touchdown sealed the deal for the game. And just a lot of things were going through my head, such as seniors and how they fought so so much to just you know get four straight wins against Florida and all the things that they put into this program over the four years that they've been here. And I just wanted to do it for them. But to have a guy back there like Dalvin Cook in backfield helping you out, how much easier was that made your job? Very easy. Um, very easy. It made it much easier to have a guy like Dalvin Cook through play action, through just handing the ball to him and breaking 80 yard runs and we're off the field. It's always got good to have a running back like that. You talk about just the 4 0 against Florida, but overall 8 0 Florida and Miami. When you hear that kind of number, I mean, what does that say to you as a younger guy about what this program has done and what it hopes to continue to achieve? Not only just, just rivals, but a lot of people in general. Um, it just says that this program is built on tough, toughness, effort, discipline, and pride. And uh, we take pride in our state. And Miami, Florida, those are two teams that are in our state. And our, our, our main goal is to win the state. DeAndre, Jimbo was saying that about six, seven weeks ago, things started clicking for you guys. Things started changing the way you practice. I guess, can you take us back to that time? What What do you think changed? What What kind of led you to get to this point now? Um, really, just guys buying in. Um, <coughs> beginning of the season, you know, things were iffy, and you know, guys just weren't buying into the program. But you know, Jimbo stuck with us, and he continued to preach toughness, effort, discipline, and pride, going to class, showing up to class on time, not skipping class, little things like that off the field that he would always address, and we started picking up those things off the field, and they started translating on the field. How much do you think that buy-in could transfer going forward, like into next season? It will It will transfer going forward. Um, we're becoming a great team. Um, we're, we're a great team right now. We're, we're going to become greater in the future. Of course, no one really knew what this team's bowl situation could be, but now all of a sudden it's looking like the orange might be an outside possibility. Kind of seemed wild just given the way this year's been, or did you figure maybe there was always an outside shot at a New Year's Six game? Uh, I, I, wasn't, I'm, I haven't really been thinking about a, a bowl game or a New Year's Six game. I was just thinking about whatever team we had coming up that next week, and this week was Florida, so my mind was on Florida. And uh, right now, I don't know what bowl game we go to. Uh, I'm just excited and blessed to 
have an opportunity to play one more game with uh, the guys on this team. You talk about guys stepping up. Talk about your offensive line tonight for you. Offensive line has stepped up game by game. They got better there every game. And um, those guys are just, they build, they build a camaraderie within each other that, you know, I can trust them. They can trust me. They can trust Alvin. Alvin can trust them. And our whole offense has been clicking ever since they've been clicking. So it starts in the trenches with our O line, and our O line has played tremendous over the past couple of weeks. And I love those guys. And, you know, through all the hits I've taken this year, everybody's looking at my O line like, oh, they're not blocking this and that. No, it's not that. It's just, what if a receiver's not running the route right or I'm holding the ball too long? It hasn't always been the whole line. So we all as offense have to continue to stop those mistakes, and we'll be a great team in the future. Hey, Deion.